that doesn't work. It's because this is a USB-C and this is a USB-A. So what I need to do is actually get a adapter. You would get something like this. Now this I got with the Google Pixel. What it is is a USB-C adapter. So what you have on the front side is you have a male USB-C port. So that can go into here. And then on the back is a USB-A female. So that means that the USB-A can go into here. So to set this up, what I would do is I would get both parts and then what we've got is the USB-C, USB-A, and then what you do is just insert this in. So that's the receiver for the mouse and keyboard. And then all I have to do is I would just put this in here. And then the only thing left to do is turn on the mouse and there it is, it's connected. And then I've got a keyboard. So, so now it's in, the mouse is connected and then we have the keyboard. And of course, if you have two receivers, so you have one for the mouse and one for the keyboard, uh, mine just has one for both, but if you have two, then you will need two of these adapters. So what you can do then is you would basically to use two of these ports, either in the front or the back for this. If you don't want to use this, or like one port for two adapters, then what you can do is get a docking station. That essentially allows you to add more ports to the Mac Mini by connecting one here. And then imagine this has like two different sockets instead, so two separate ones. So it allows you to extend the number of ports that you have. Now I'm gonna move the mouse and you can see it's now moving. Now let's open up notes. I'm going to type, you can see I'm typing, if I press the space and start typing, you can see, so it now works. And then to show you it doesn't work once it comes out, so I have this, when I take this out, it's no longer connected, and you'll see it's not moving anymore. I can connect it either on the front or the back of the Mac Mini, it's up to you really what side you prefer. If you're going to be taking it off quite often, then probably put it in the front. If not, then the back is fine. So for a wired keyboard or mouse, it would be the same steps. So we have this wired keyboard. All you do is you use the USB-C adapter. If this isn't a USB-C port, so in this case it's not. So what I do is use the adapter. So now it's in. And all I do is I connect this into the Mac Mini. So we've got some notes open here. So what I'm going to do is you can see this is a wire that goes to this keyboard. I'm just going to type and there you have it. So now I can type with either a wired or wire wireless. All you need is this USB-C, USB-A adapter. If you have a USB-A port uh, for the keyboard and mouse, if you have USB-C, you can just plug it in directly here. But yeah, I hope that was helpful.